As San Vittore fell, the 6th Armored Infantry on the 2nd Corps left flank drove to Mount Porcia, south of the important Highway 6. Three German infantry companies of the Hermann Goering Panzer Division were rushed in by the enemy to hold them out. Though the Germans created some confusion, our reinforced troops held on to their guns. On 7th January, with tank and artillery fire blazing behind them, our infantry reached the crest of Mount Porcia. Eight days later, our 135th Infantry reached the top of Mount Trochio, the last height of the winter line. Now the 5th Army stood before Casino, guarding Highway No. 6, the road to Rome. Here, tall, cliff-faced mountains like an endless row of fortresses cut across Italy. Around this natural barrier, the Germans built a new line. The main anchor of this line was in the ring of high mountains around Casino. The town lay at the foot of Monastery Hill. At the top of the hill, overlooking the town, was the historic abbey, founded in the year 529. Built as a refuge for work and prayer, this impressive monument contained many medieval treasures. The Nazis removed for what they called safekeeping. The enemy denied that the abbey was being used for any military purpose whatsoever. But with the occupation of the abbey, the Germans were in full control of Casino, as this captured film shows. After two costly major attacks failed, we could no longer respect the Vatican request that the monument be spared. Leaflets were fired, warning Italians to evacuate. A few days later, wave after wave of our planes came over Monastery Hill. In four hours, 500 tons of bombs were dropped to level the abbey. waited until the bombs stopped falling and our guns were silent. Then crawled out of their holes and filtered back into the ruins of the abbey. They took up new observation and artillery positions. We had reached a grim crisis. Before us, the town, the casino, blocked our entrance to highway number six and Rome. Four months of fighting against almost every obstruction known to warfare. A struggle too long, too bitter, to be fought to a standstill by an old Italian town in the hands of an enemy. For the 5th Army advance to continue, Casino had to be ours, even if it meant blasting the town off the face of the earth. On our next program, we'll have the story of the invasion of southern France with the 3rd, the 45th, and 36th Divisions. So until next week, this is Colonel Quinn speaking for the combat infantrymen who ask you to look twice at the man who wears the blue badge. It's the mark of a man. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Signal Corps Pictorial Center. Presented by the U.S. Army in cooperation with this station. You can be an important part of the big picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.